welcome to Commercial Farming with the Dirt Road Farmer. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing just great. Fantastic. Well, uh, we harvested this field of soybeans uh, in the last video. And uh, <laughs> I've been kind of battling a bug so I haven't been posting uh, a video like I should, but I am feeling a little better now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been tough. I'll say that. But anyway, uh, this is just one of those necessary evils. You know, uh, if you come down here in the back of it, you cannot tell what that mulcher is doing whatsoever but make no mistake if you don't do this you're going to take a hit on your yield bonus so yeah that's uh you know that's that's an fs22 thing and there is no sense in complaining about it you don't have to do it uh Nope, you can skip it, but, you know, you just need to know that you will take a hit on your yield bonus. So, but anyway, uh, we're off to a good start. We've got three uh, tractors in here mulching. Uh, I did manage to get the second half of this field done. Uh, if you remember... Uh, we harvested this section down to the road that I cut at the halfway mark. Well, I did end up getting the other field done also. So, before we can replant or anything, this is, like I said, one of those necessary evils that we've got to do. So, anyway, uh, we're going to let these guys run and... Uh, We'll just keep checking back in with them. All right. Well, <laughs> these guys are making some pretty good headway. Uh, they're not. They're not quite halfway across this field yet. Uh, but I do have them set where they're skipping a row, and uh, you know, whenever they get to the far side over there. Then they'll come back and pick up all the rows that they've skipped. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you don't mind doing something whenever you can kind of see what you're doing. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my childhood <laughs> memories and really it's not a childhood uh, because I was well I had my driver's license you know and I even had my own car so I was probably 16 17 how many people remember drive-in theaters uh, Leave me a comment and let me know how many of you have ever been to a drive-in theater. How many of you liked them? Uh, for those of you that do not know what a drive-in theater is, uh, we're not talking about going to the cinema where you pay an ungodly price to watch a movie. Uh, and then, uh, you know, if you've got to have a, a box of popcorn or something, well, that's uh, very expensive also. No, what I'm talking about is you drive your car into a, it was like a big open field, only there were posts sticking up ever so often 
that you pulled up next to a post and you whatever you pulled up next to a post you were looking at a big screen a big screen in front of you and that big screen when the when the movie started they would run a projector back in the uh, well I guess you would call it the movie house or whatever uh, the theater room or whatever you'd want to call it a uh, projector room but they would start this projector and it would show the movie on this big screen well now these posts that you pulled up next to they had little boxes on them and those were speakers and you roll your window down just a little bit get that little box and it would hang on your window and you adjust the volume and everything and so you watch the show and you listen to it off those little speaker boxes now I'll tell you what that was really the way to go it really was uh, <laughs> uh, you know you could stop and and get you some food snacks you know if you want potato chips ice you down some soda uh, whatever you know whatever you wanted and usually there was a couple of different movies that would show and you could make a whole evening out of that and really enjoy yourself but uh Yes, drive-in movies, drive-in theaters. Uh, there's not very many of them left. I really don't understand why, but I, I guess the maintenance on, you know, such a place and taxes and everything, I guess it was just not cost-effective for them to do that anymore. But... Uh, we really enjoyed that as young adults. So like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know, have, have you ever heard of one? And have you ever been to one? I would be very interested in knowing. So, but anyway, uh, these guys are making headway. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, just, one of them things that's a pain, you know, but it's very important. We've got to do it. So, anyway, we're going to let them get with it, and we'll check back in with them here in a little bit. All right. Well, <laughs> these guys have reached the, the other side of the field, uh, and now they'll go back and start picking up all the rows that they skipped. Uh, let's bring the HUD up. All right, here's where we're at. And, uh, <laughs> yes. Now, there's only three tractors running in here, and I think they made it across there pretty good. Uh, this is 2,500 acres, so, yeah. I think they done pretty good. But uh, anyway, uh, I know there's not a whole lot to see on this video. Uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, this is a necessary evil. I don't like doing it either. Seems like it's a big old waste of money uh, and time. But, you know, it just has to be done. So, there's no reason to sit and keep talking about it. You just bundle up and get it done, you know. But, uh, anyway, yeah, you know, when it comes to the drive-in theaters, 
uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've ever been to one. You know, whenever you stopped at the gate before you entered uh, that big, I'm going to call it a field, uh, for lack of terms, I don't know what you would call the place, but it's, you could call it a car park, I guess, because that's what you did as you pulled in there. Uh, but you stopped there at the gate and you paid a, a very small fee. I'm thinking it was $5.00 six dollars something like that for a whole car load and then you just went in there and just enjoyed the movies you know if you wanted a hot dog or something like that you could go to the concession stand but uh, you know they were kind of expensive but if you had taken your girlfriend and she wanted a hot dog yeah you got her a hot dog you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And an overpriced soda. Yep, you got that too. Yeah, whatever, whatever your girlfriend wanted. You know, yep, that's what you got. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm not going to keep you uh, on this. Like I said, I know it's there's just nothing to see, and. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to let these guys do their thing. And we're going to call this a video. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to run the video at all. But, uh, and leave me a comment also, if you don't mind. Leave me a comment. And do you guys mulch your fields like this? Uh, what have you found to be... You know, is it worth it if you don't mulch them like this? Uh, is it worth it? Uh, did you take a big hit on your harvest or what? I'd be very interested in knowing. So, but anyway, yes, we are going to call this a video. And uh, we're going to have a bunch of corn coming on here real soon. And we're going to be in the middle of a big, big corn harvest. Huge. Several thousands of acres. So, but as for me, the dirt road farmer, we're going to call it a day. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>